downtown. The Filipino community of Seattle. This community center and the families it serves continue to be hit hard by COVID. But like so many in Seattle, they stepped up and tripled the meals they served. Now they're joining the efforts to vaccinate Seattle equitably. Soon, we'll transform this very room into a one-day clinic for Filipino elders. This past year changed everything for all of us. Masks, testing, isolation, losing loved ones, small business owners struggling every day just to survive, workers facing lost wages, jobs, and unable to pay their rent, parents grappling with childcare, kids at home, and online learning. And the pandemic disproportionately hit our indigenous, black, and Latinx communities. The pandemic is our lifetime's challenge, and it has amplified challenges we already had. Homelessness, public safety, the climate crisis, and racial inequities in every system, healthcare, employment, education, and policing. In the coming weeks, we'll discuss and implement plans to continue progress on each of these issues, including the concrete steps we'll take together to recover and reopen downtown, including steps we'll take to improve the livability and safety of downtown. We'll open hundreds of shelter spaces and affordable homes to bring more neighbors inside from our parks and streets so they can get stability and services. We'll address public safety, expand alternatives to policing, and have other responses. We'll invest nearly $100 million in the health and resiliency of black and other communities of color to address generational disparities. This work will be hard. We will need all of us. We will have to focus on our shared goals. Right now, our most important shared goal is getting this pandemic behind us and beating this virus. And vaccinations are the path to healing, recovery, and reopening. That's how we beat this virus and how we can fully reopen our businesses and schools and bring workers back downtown. The health of downtown is so critical to the entire city and region. To begin our vaccination process, our Seattle Fire Mobile team started working around the clock last month to vaccinate vulnerable and impacted neighbors, even when we had a foot of snow. They've provided more than 4,400 vaccinations to workers at adult family homes, healthcare workers, grocery store workers, and elders in our hardest hit communities. They're doing heroic work and are on track to vaccinate thousands of Seattleites. But we need to do so much more at a time when the current supply and getting an appointment is beyond frustrating. Hopefully by spring, the federal government will increase supplies and the city will be able to launch mass vaccination sites that are easily accessible in all parts of our city. Rainier Beach, West Seattle, downtown, and multiple sites in North Seattle. We're ready. I want us to be the first city in the country to vaccinate 70% of our adults. It is the most daunting and most important operations our city government has ever taken. It will take all of us working together, government, healthcare, philanthropy, business, and you. I know you have been through a lot and you've done all that you can, but each of us has a role to play. When you're eligible, get your appointment and get vaccinated. Help family or friends make or get to appointments. And if you can, contribute to the new all-in million vaccine equity fund that we established today. It's a fantastic public-private partnership that we want to support vaccine efforts in our hardest hit communities. We pulled together at the beginning of this pandemic to support our neighbors in need, and we can do it still. I know everyone is just so tired, but we are so close. We have sacrificed and been through so much. We can't let our guard down now, not until we get enough people vaccinated. We must still wear masks, physical distance, and not gather. We just can't let up. In closing, I won't sugarcoat it. We have a tough road ahead, but there is hope on the horizon. We will equitably vaccinate our community. We will continue 
to support our neighbors with assistance for rent, meals, childcare, and small businesses. We will bring workers back downtown. We will open many new affordable homes, many that I announced just these last three years. We will bring more people from our parks and streets into permanent supportive housing and new 24-7 spaces like tiny homes. We'll forge a more equitable economy with programs like the Seattle Promise, which gives our public school graduates free college and a pathway to opportunity. We'll be able to gather again and we'll open our new world-class Climate Pledge Arena to watch our championship storm and release the Kraken. Seattle, we are writing the final chapters of this generational challenge. The state of our city is resilient. We are fatigued, but determined. We are challenged, yet compassionate. Never bet against Seattle. This year, we will continue to be tested, but we will begin to recover and rebuild more equitably. Thank you, and please remember, mask up and stay safe. Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin, her fourth and final State of the City address, COVID top of mind in her address, uh, announcing that she wants Seattle to become the first city in the country to vaccinate 70% of the population. But she announced in December she would be a one-term mayor. So Jenny Durkin's final State of the City address.